to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. We will now honor the Holy Gospel. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you O Lord six days before Passover Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was whom Jesus had raised from the dead they gave a dinner for him there and Martha served 
while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas discarded one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest Priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good evening once again, my dear brothers and sisters. Meron tayong ilang mga... Luminaries nang nandito kasama ko. At of course, yung mga sumusubaybay na sa atin sa live streaming na ito. At kaya nang sinabi ko kanina, it is a night of the celebration of the Eucharist. But also, and also, the part of our activities here in the shrine, the Lenten recollection. There will be three speakers and yours truly uh, is now taking the first talk or the first sharing and so to begin with tell yourself or yourselves I am a missionary laksan nyo naman I am a missionary isa pa I am a missionary last I am a missionary yun ang talk ko Tungkol sa mission, sent for the mission. Actually, na-reverse yung order. But nonetheless, it is still uh, a, a, a good way to start our recollection. At since I'm sharing about the mission, I'm taking this opportunity to greet also ang aking mga dating parishioners, some of my friends, and some of our conference in Hong Kong. Nehoma, kumusta? Si Jofan Meya, kumain na ba kayo? Jok Taiga, San Taigin Hong, sana inasa mabuti kayong kalusugan. Tinju Boyao, God bless you. At babatayin ko na rin kayo ng Happy Easter, no? Fukwuchit Philo. As I said, I am a missionary. You are a missionary. And every missionary has a story to share. And for those who are building up, still building up your stories, maybe later on you can also say or tell your stories in life. Sabi ko nga kay Father Ronnie nung nag-usap kami ng isang araw when he informed me that um, well, there are some requests. <laughs> Totoo ba ito? <laughs> that I will be a sharer in this uh, Lenten recollection. Siguro ito ay yung naudlot, no? Meron akong isang sharing na naudlot. Siguro two years ago for some reasons. And so, ayan, babawi tayo. Sabi ko, Father Ronnie, pwede bang magkwento na lang ako ng aking karanasan sa mission baka pag medyo malalim ang aking babahagi ay hindi ako makatapos ng 
pagbabahagi. And well, of course, hoping that people will be interested in some of my stories and experiences. But of course, uh, not only stories, but reflections about the mission. I was still a theology student when I left the Philippines for a program called Overseas Training Program. Yung mga seminarista natin dito ay familiar na rin siguro sa Overseas Training Program. Well, it is a program taken to uh, familiarize oneself on the missionary situation, the culture, the people of a certain place, and also the language, hoping that it will be a good preparation later on when um, a, a seminarian will profess a vows as or perpetual vows as a priest or a brother and uh, later on assigned in a mission area. So I was assigned in Hong Kong for an OTP, which is supposed to be three years. On November 29, or 28, 1999, no? after a long voyage of one hour and 50 minutes. Matagal pa yung biniyahe ko mula Christ the King hanggang airport. Parang kami ni, sino nga ba ang driver namin noon, no? Ay, um, dalawang oras mahigit bago nakarating sa airport. And I landed in Hong Kong aboard the majestic Philippine Airlines. Siyempre, masaya. At the same time, ay ninenervyos. Dahil, alam nyo, paglapag ng aeroplano, it is a different world. Kakaibang mundo. Ang laki ng airport. Kasya yung tatlong airport natin dito. O kung may pang-apat pa, baka kasya pa yung pang-apat ngayon. Ganun kalaki. And one of my mentors, Father Lino, sabi niya sa akin, oh, pagdating mo sa airport, huwag ka kakabahan. Sundan mo lang yung karatula na nakasulat ay arrival. Sinundan ko. Wow. Ang haba. Arrival, arrival, arrival. Arrival. Sampung minuto na, arrival pa rin, arrival pa rin. Ganun, kalaki. Ang airport. Sabi ko, wala na bang katapos ang arrival ito? <laughs> and then after that, well, I went out and was, um, was picked at the airport by two Filipinas, kaibigan ni na Father Lim and Father Maidas. At dinala muna nila ako sa isang mall. At kumain kami ng Hindi Chinese food, Korean barbecue. <laughs> Sabi nila, Father Don, ito ay mauulit lamang pag katapos ng mission mo sa Hong Kong. Hindi na ulit ito mauulit. And then I arrived in our OTP house sa Shatin. Well, it's a place in, in Hong Kong called the New Territory. So the place was so silent. Walang laman ang bahay kundi yung isang pari na siya director, si Father James Arichira. There was a short welcome, and he led me to my room, at sabi sa akin, see you tomorrow for the Mass at 7 a.m. Wow, ulit. <laughs> 7 a.m. Pwedeng gumising ng tanghatanghali. And then, the first morning, sobrang lamig. Nagsisimula na ang winter. And then, naalala ko talaga, ay balot-balot ko pa yung, balot-balot pa ako ng comforter ko hanggang, hanggang bathroom. At nung binuksan ko yung gripo, walang tubig na tumutulo. Yung pala, hindi tinatabi yung ganun. Iniaangat pa yung gripo. At pag, ano, pag ganun ko ng tubig, naku, napakalamig. Sabi ko, paano kaya ako makakapaligo nito? Kung naipalabas na nun yung frozen, o baka habang naghihila mo, sabi ko, makakanta ko ng let it go, let it go, sa lamig ng tubig. At yun, sabi ko, Diyos ko, ano ba itong lugar na napuntahan ko? Singkaran talaga ng lamig. 
Although, of course, may mas malalamig pa na lugar. Eh, galing tayo sa Pilipinas. Yun, ang unang gabi. Unang umaga. And, well, that became the beginning of 16 years of morning, noon, and night time in a foreign land that eventually I called my home. And during those long years in the beginning, I embarked into what is considered as essential in the mission work. Ano ba ito? Language, people, culture, political and social situations, and also the religious situation, the faith encounters with people. The language is not supposed to be easy. Parang nagdodrawing. If you remember, I had Meron ako ditong yung Chinese saying. Ayun, ipinarin ko na lang yun sa computer. But, the calligraphy. Wala kang pagbasehan kung ano ang itsura. Basta tatandaan mo na lang kung anong strokes, kung ilan, at kung paano ito babasahin. Eight tones ang structure or structured Cantonese kung ituturo. Eight tones ang ginagamit. If I will say the word ma, it will sound like ma, 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 ma. Ano simula parang mama lang lahat, ma, 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 ma. At pag nagkamali ka ng tone, iba na ang kahulugan. Ang word na Lord, like Lord Jesus, ay pwedeng maging baboy, maging pork Jesus. Pag nagkamali ka. Ang nanay ay pwedeng maging tunog kabayo pag nagkamali ka ng pronunciation. Kung galit ka sa nanay mo, okay lang. Kung mahal mo ang nanay mo, huwag na huwag kang magkakamali ng pagbikas. Ang excuse me at thank you ay kung banggitin ay parang unggoy. Diba Kenneth? Diba si Kenneth? Tatay ni Kenneth nasa Hong Kong eh, tsaka nanay nun. Bata pa si Kenneth, nakikita ko na yun doon. Si Punin pa yan nun. <laughs> si Punin pa rin. Sabi nung so, si Punin pa rin po ngayon. Okay talaga. <laughs> An, sabi pag nagsak, excuse ka, oh, thank you. Umgoy, umgoy, umgoy. Sabi ko parang tunog ko, umgoy yan ha. O kaya naman, pag yung, meron ba? Meron ba? Ah, sabi mo, Yawa? 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 <laughs> Natawa na ko na lang ang sarili ko. Kakaiba, the people are different. The system sometimes can be daunting. And at times, the only bliss that you can have is food. Ang sarap ng Cantonese food. At madami pang mga ganyang encounter. Fast forward tayo sa first Chinese mass. After five, six years of preparation na ordinahan, and then here comes my first Chinese mass. Sa isang maliit na chapel, malaki pa yung crypt. Walo ang aking daily attendees. Pito doon ay above 70. At yung isa ay malapit ng mag-70. In a small chapel, air condition, Parang refrigerator sa lamig. Or a storage facility in a morgue. And after the mass, alam nyo, first time, kahit yata ang medias ko, e eh basa ng pawis. Dahil sa kaba, sa takot. And after a week in the parish, may lumapit sa aking matanda. Sabi niya, Father, I will in Cantonese. I, mean, I cannot understand what you're talking about. <laughs> sabi ko sa kanya, well, maybe because of the language. Tapos sabi ko sa kanya, ay, don't worry po. Well, in Cantonese also. <laughs> Me too. I cannot understand what I was talking about. And yun, after five years in the parish, 
the lady once again approached me and said that, Father, now I can understand what you are talking about. But sadly, you are to leave our parish. Kasi nung time na yun, assign na ako sa formation sa OTP. Well, it's a teaser sa isang missionary life. Sa aking storya. But from this, I want to continue my reflection about being sent for the mission. It is the subtitle ng ating theme ngayong Lent dito sa shrine. Kasama na nga dito yung gifted no? through baptism and nourished by the Eucharist. But this will be dealt by the other speakers tomorrow and on Wednesday. But inspired by the theme of this year's pastoral year dedicated to missionary renewal, the mission agentus, the mission to the nations, let me begin with what I termed as missionaries gifted to give. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, it says there that mission is a gift. What you receive as a gift, give as a gift. And true to any gift, you have to open it first and find out what is inside. What is there in that gift? At pagbukas mo, ay may malaking letter J. Jesus is the center of that gift. And that is why by doing so, I ask you to embark to a sort of going back to your Galilee. Examine our own life and our walk with Christ. Saan ba nagsimula ang lahat? Go back to that encounter with Jesus. In Mark, that is the beginning of discipleship. The encounter by Peter and Andrew, James, and John. When they left their father Zebedee. Daling tandaan yung tatay ni James and John, no? Zebedee. Tandaan niyo lang yung kantang, I love you, Zebedee. Pati na rin linggo. You're too young. You're too young for that. No? Yung nakikinig sa atin, ayun, no? nakita ko yung isa, nakarap sa screen, numingiti. Manager siguro siya ng food chain na yun. But then there's that encounter with Jesus where they left everything. Well, that's the account of Mark. And while with Jesus, they were amazed by his presence. Amazement. Miracle worker itong Jesus na ito. Nagpapagaling, nagpapakain ng marami, nagpapalaya ng demonyo. Kayo, meron kayong ganitong experience when you said, I will follow you, Jesus, after an encounter with Him that you call the Jesus experience. Yung iba, lalo na yung mga sumasali sa mga charismatic movements, ito yung ating mga iyak moments, yung mga shout with joy moments. Yung mga sandali na you will raise your hand and sing, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice. Mga ganong klaseng moment. O kayo, mga seminarista rito, baka yung isang gabi na kayo nag adoration and you, will, you, you were drawn no, by Jesus' presence or by Jesus himself. Pwede rin balikan ang 500 years 
of Christianity because it is a birth of a Christian nation and years of missionary endeavors. O kaya naman ay stories of other people na ginagawa nating inspiration because of that encounter with Jesus. Arnold Jansen, when he founded the SVB, na wala siyang pera, kakaunti ang sumusuporta sa kanya, na nagsimula ang SVB sa isang lumang in, may nangot siya sa kanya bilang isang fool or a saint. Alam niyo, noong inauguration, may nakapansin sa kanilang gamit, lalo na nung magkakainan na, na parang panghiram yung mga gamit. <laughs> sa totoo lang, eh, mukha ngang panghiram. And the famous line, when he was asked about the financial status of the congregation, and he said, the money is in the pocket of the people. <laughs> Buti na lang hindi idinugtong sa introduction kanina yung tungkol sa akin. <laughs> Jokingly, I said, pakilagay nga yung yan ang associate priest at saka treasurer ng shrine. <laughs> yan ang nangihingi ng donation. <laughs> but inspired by that, trust in the Lord. Punong-puno ng Jesus experience ang puso ni Arnold Johnson, St. Arnold Johnson, our founder. O kaya naman, istorya ni Joseph Renademitz. How he left his hometown that is paradise-like. I was there 2008 in Oyes. And you know what? Kahit magkamali ka ng pindot ng kamera, o mali yung, yung kukuhanan mo ng picture. Picture perfect pa rin. IG worthy pa rin. Pang instra, Instagram o Instagramable pa rin ang kuha. Because of the beauty of that place. And you know what? He left that hometown. He left the secured life and went to China. His first impression was that the devil is indeed here. Ang ingay, ang gulo. But later on, he fell in love with the people that in his dead, he desired to be a Chinese and be with the Chinese in heaven. Or mga isang, o mga istorya, ng mga misyonero natin na inspired ka. Inspired kayo. Missionaries who touched your lives. Religious and lay alike. Yung bang mga istorya ng umakit sa bundok? Namamang ka. Tumitira sa squatter. Katulad ni Father Ben. O kaya naman ay magaling na liturgist at musician at shrine rector na katulad ni Father Ronnie. <laughs> that in their person ay nakita mo si Kristo. Mga Jesus encounter din yan. O kaya naman ay istorya ng pagpaparaya sa pag-ibig upang ikaw ay makapaglingkod sa Diyos. O, ayan ha? Pinromote ko na yung video natin na darating. <laughs> or this pandemic that suddenly you saw yourself wounded like others and yet comforted by the presence of Jesus. And later on, you may label this experience as the Jesus effect in your life. Why? Because remember that to know that you're gifted is to know how you lived your life with Jesus. 
Jesus invited us to come and see. O nag come and see na ba kayo? O nasa labas pa lang kayo ng pintuan? In the letter for the pastoral year of Misio Adjentes, we are told to renew and transform. And the beginning of this renewal is that experience with Jesus, the initial call, and the life lived with Him. A professor once told me, or told our class, that mission is indeed a mandate, but also a fruit of that intimacy and friendship with Jesus. You look at the Gospel of John, chapter 15, and he will tell you that he is divine and we are the branches. In verse 5, he says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. And so once he abides in you, that is residing in you, you cannot help but share Jesus. Mission is a fruit of that loving relationship that in the discovery of that gift you cannot but share it because that gift is a cause of joy joy in the presence of jesus <coughs> and that's the second point after the gift is the joy a joy that cannot be contained a true experience with Jesus is always a joyful experience. You know, several times Jesus asked the, the people he healed or received his miracles not to tell to others. And still, out of that joy, they shared it. Ganun naman ang tunay na kasayahan. Si Mary, ang tunay niyang kasayahan ay hindi niya na itago sa kanyang puso. But he shared it, especially on her cousin, Elizabeth. Pope Francis in Evangelii Gaudium says that salvation is a greater steam of joy. Let the joy of faith be revived because God's mercy, mercies never end. Unfortunately, there are Christians including yours truly, at times whose lives seem like a Lent without Easter. An evangelizer must never look like someone who had just come back from a funeral or a fight. We all must not end up stifling the joy of mission. And as Pope Francis continues, that people are attracted to the joy they see in Christians. Totoo nga. Again, let's go back to that missionary experience in Hong Kong. The Christian joy of the Filipino overseas workers, many whom I serve are OFWs in Hong Kong. They are mostly women who work in a domestic setting. They do the marketing, cleaning the house, tending to the different needs of their employers, including children, the elderly, and even their pets. Alam nyo ba na pag naglakad ka ng aso sa kalsada at dumumi ang asong ito ay kailangan mong linisin. Kaya lagi silang may dalang jaryo, pandakot ng pupu. But the sad thing is that they earn something, but they send most of these or their earnings to their loved ones. 
There's always that impression na marami silang pera. Hindi po. Hindi totoo yan. Minsan ang buhay nila ay parang resurrection ni Jesus. Ang mga wallet nila ay empty tomb. Walang laman. <laughs> But then, of course, that is very inspiring for many. No? Kahit nga yung mga local people, they notice that most of them are happy. And many spend their day off in the church. Yung isang napaglingkuran kong parokya, though I'm not a, a, an official part of the parish, ay yung parish priest who is a Chinese. Lagi siyang nagpapahanda ng bidyoke, ng karaoke, pag may malalaking okasyon sa simbahan. Kasi alam niya na ang mga Pilipina ay mahilig mag bidyoke. So, dito niya nakikita ang saya ng ating mga kababayan. Hindi mo halata na may mga pinagdadaanan sila. And even the local people notice that. Hindi katulad ni Judas <laughs> sa Gospel Today na nagmamaktol dahil nagubos ng mamahaling langis para kay Jesus. Many of them, our kababayans, like Pope, like what Pope Francis said, are smugglers of faith. Some of their employers and their families were baptized because of the sharing of faith they did. Special mention is the El Shaddai group. Meron silang term na nag-aakay to the faith. Ang gandang pakinggan, we missionaries are nag-aakay sa mga tao sa pananampalataya. And this pag-aakay actually is reflected even in the local Chinese. There is a phenomenon called the adult baptism that every year there is about 3,000 catechumens who are baptized in a ceremony done in the Easter Vigil. Ang nangangampanya, oh, sorry, nangangampanya, ang naghihikayat ay mga family members at mga friends, mga kulig. Kaya pag Easter Vigil, may mga parishes na inaabot ng 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. sisimula ng alas 8. Dahil sa dami ng adult baptism. Kami, nung wala na kaming parokya, naghahanap kami ng maliliit lang na parish na mga sampulang o labilima ang bibinyagan para maaga kaming makauwi. <laughs> All of them have undergone a year and a half or two years of adult catechism. Imagine that, no? Hindi ko alam kung anong missionary model ito. Baka ito ang tinatawag na akay model or sharing of joy model. And with our situation, ito ang kailangan ng mundo. Ang mga taong magdadala ng courage, hope, and joy in the time of pandemic, in the time of political and social and environmental crisis. Bukod sa mga plantito at plantita, kailangan ng mundo ng misyonero. And this joy should be sustained. It should be sustained and strengthened through our faith by prayer and sacrament. A missionary disciple must find a balance between the contemplative life and the active life of Christian service. Christians who do not strengthen their faith through prayer and the sacrament run the risk of being caught up in the allure of the world and falling back to a sinful habit or habits. Even the saints pray. And in sharing this joy, we also have what we call the missionary presence. Habang may pandemia, ang presence natin ay ramdam sa pamagitan ng teknolohiya. 
But of course, behind the technology is the listening heart. Let us listen to the stories of people and journey with them. Iba ang pakiramdam ng mga taong sinasamahan, inaalalayan, lalo na ng mga may pananampalataya kay Kristo. O kaya naman maraming tao ang naghahanap ng makikinig sa kanilang mga narratives. Yun nga, nung ako nasa mission, merong mga pagkakataon na you have the whole afternoon listening to stories of people, lalo na yung mga may problema. Again, in sharing the joy, kasama dito ang ating presence. And so with this, let us be thankful to God for giving us the faith. This year, we are gifted to give. That is our identity. And so once more, we recall those moments that we feel we are gifted by the presence of Jesus in our lives and share that joy to others because we are indeed sent to become missionaries of Jesus Christ. So once again, tell yourselves, I am a missionary. I am a missionary. I am a missionary. Amen. And with this, we all stand and offer our prayers to God. Jesus' gentle manner invites us to turn humbly to Him for forgiveness. Assured of His compassion, let us bring our petitions before Him and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering and experiencing difficulties in life may bear their trials with patience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That prisoners may have the consolation of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may come to the aid of the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our frontline health workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with His mantle of protection, sustain them and give them His strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may draw courage and strength from the cross of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your Son to us as a mission of mercy. Grant that we may always be comforted by his gentleness and strengthened by his presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christy, the gifts we bring to you. Christy, of the earth receive Saving every grave. 
pray, dear brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise. As and make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Saint Arnold Jansen, St. Joseph Renadimitz, our blessed and martyrs, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the foundation of our mission. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my, under my roof, but, but only, only say the word, the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. 
Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly Hola. remain standing for the devotion to the Holy Spirit. Pray your service in honor to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The Spirit, the spirit of, of His, His Son, Son, who cries, Abba. What no eye has seen or heard, nor the human heart conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him, He has revealed to us through His Spirit. He has, he has put, put his seal upon us and, and given us his spirit in our hearts. The Father of the poor and light of our hearts, our comfort in sorrow and strength in tribulation. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. We have been sealed with the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and love, the spirit of his Son in our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. We know that we abide in God and God in us, because he has given us his own spirit, the fountain of life, wisdom, and holiness, the sevenfold gift of the Father. We are no longer under the law of old, because we live by the Spirit. He has put his law of love into our minds and written it in our hearts. Let us be eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as we were called to one hope that belongs to our call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father to us all, who is above all and through all, and in all. The Holy Spirit came from the throne of God and entered invisibly into the hearts of the apostles. How good and how kind, Lord, is your Spirit in us. Lord, grant us an increase of faith and, and let the light of the Holy Spirit fill us always. Then we will grasp more fully all the things that Jesus has told us. Lord Jesus, raised on the cross, you poured out the water of rebirth for the life of the world. Strengthen the life of all people with the gift of the Spirit. Raised Raise up, up to God's, God's right hand, you, you bestowed, bestowed the, the Father's gift on the believing community, community when he was now in that same spirit of might and, and love. Empowered by your Spirit, you sent your apostles into all the world, to make all people your disciples. Grant, Grant us today a true renewal, renewal in the same spirit, spirit that, that we may be your witnesses to all people in every land. In the silence of our hearts, let us now present to God our petitions and needs in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, you sanctify your church in every race and nation by the mystery of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Stir up your power and renew your gifts for all humankind. Fulfill now in the hearts of your faithful what you accomplish when the gospel was first preached on earth. Almighty Father, let the splendor of your glory shine upon us. May Christ, who is light from your light, Strengthened by the illumination of the Holy Spirit, the hearts of all those who have received the divine adoption as God's children. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Horatio Imperata. 
Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunzor. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadimitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. We invite everyone to join us online via live streaming during our Holy Week activities. Our Lenten recollection second day tomorrow will be during the 6 p.m. Mass. Holy Wednesday, we also have our third day of our Lenten recollection during the 6 p.m. Mass. We also have an online pabasa at 2 to 4 p.m. Holy Thursday, April 1, our Lord's morning prayers is at 8.30 a.m. Virtual Visita Iglesia and Stations of the Cross is at 2 p.m. And Mass of the Lord's Supper is at 5 p.m. Holy Fri Good Friday, April 2, our Lord's morning prayers is at 8.30 a.m. Stations of the Cross is at 9 a.m. Celebration of the Lord's Passion is at 3 p.m. And Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother is at 5 p.m. Holy Saturday, April 3, our Lord's morning prayers is at 8.30 a.m. And Easter Vigil Mass is at 7 p.m. Easter Sunday, April 4, our regular Sunday Mass schedule is at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 4 p.m. For more information, please check the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word Facebook page, and please subscribe to our Shrine's YouTube channel. Thank you. Also, in behalf of our Shrine Rector, Father Ronnie Crisostomo SVD, the priest team, the Shrine Pastoral Council, and the Shrine Community, we would like to thank our first recollection speaker, Reverend Father Alfredo Don Don Rolion Jr., SVD. Thank you, Father, for sharing your continuing missionary journey with us and challenging us to share God's joy among our suffering brethren in the face of this pandemic. Empowered and gifted to give, I am and we are all missionaries. Thank you, Father. Please rise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass ascended go and share the good news thanks, thanks be, be to god, to god.
Holy Trinity and God live in our hearts. Saint Joseph Reynadamitz, Saint Arnold Jensen, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 